Although it's really important, the work we do in headquarters in developing policy and instruments for, for our members, one of the most important things we actually do is get into the field and work with the decentralized officers around the world in implementing the various instruments that we've developed for fishing operations. Let me give you some examples. Uh, with support from the Global Environment Facility and various uh, other donors, members, uh, FAO members, and uh, the NGO Society, we have a $150 million project on tuna. It's a global project uh, for looking at addressing problems associated with management of tuna fisheries. Uh, in addition to this project, we are working in Southeast Asia uh, to reduce bycatch in trawl fisheries. And so our, our service is heavily involved working with the industry, the national fisheries authorities in several countries in Southeast Asia, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Vietnam, and Papua New Guinea, to work with them to identify what their specific problems are in trawl fisheries and how to make their management uh, more effective in, for trawl fisheries. Moving away from bycatch, uh, although it's a serious issue, but we're we also doing other types of work. This includes looking at trying to reduce fuel consumption. Fuel consumption is one of the biggest costs that, that fishing vessels have. And unfortunately, fuel costs continue to rise, but the fish price doesn't rise at the same speed. So essentially, fishermen start to lose money or they lose ground because of the, the, the significant rises in fuel. We believe we can get up to 30%, 40% savings by identifying existing practices and putting in place changes to vessels and fishing gear, and we can reduce those operating costs through uh, fuel saving technologies by between 30 and 40%. We're also in the field working with uh, the United Nations Environment Program and the International Maritime Organization for our work on marine litter. And that's where we also see uh, another growth area where we start to look at fishing ground cleanup. So we're working with the private sector, the fishing industry. We're working closely with uh, the civil society groups, NGOs, such as WWF, who've been a, a great partner for us in some of our projects, uh, as well as the national fisheries authorities. And so clearly, we not only work in headquarters, uh, on, on instrument development, but really the heart and soul of, 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 of our service is, is being in the field and working with fishermen on the water to make sure that those instruments, those regulations, those technologies can be applied and adapted to specific fisheries so that we can improve their livelihoods and improve their benefits uh, that, they're that they're getting from the fisheries resources.